to the No Fate channel, checking in. Welcome to the Caffeine Corner where we dissect individual topics on every video while drinking caffeine. On this episode, we are going to be talking about the GoPro Media Mod, what it is, and frankly, if it's worth it and when you should spend your hard-earned money on it while we are drinking a limited edition Raise Energy Blue Shock, courtesy of the Zero Pack. So if this is your first time to the channel, give the video a like, hit that red subscribe button. The GoPro Media Mod, what is it used for? It is an addition to the GoPro that you basically put onto the GoPro, allowing you to add external microphones, as well as external lighting. GoPros are known notoriously for being very poor in low light situations. So oftentimes you do wanna have an external light, especially when you are filming inside. I'll put the price point up here as of today. I think it comes in around $50, but you can find them on sale, as well as the fact that if you're a GoPro subscriber, you get like 20 or 30% off the actual camera mod. One of the good things about the camera mods is that the GoPro Hero 9 camera mod is fitting the GoPro Hero 10. Sometimes between versions, they will not fit, so you do wanna double check that before you buy it. Why would you want to get the camera mod? And frankly, that's because you want to add an external microphone. Obviously, you can add an external light. We'll talk about why this probably isn't a good choice if that's the only reason you wanna get this. The external microphone, it is where it's at. Unfortunately, the camera mod does come with a microphone. It does improve the GoPro's audio, but only slightly. It allows you to treat this microphone as either a shotgun mic capturing everything in front of the microphone or reverse mic capturing everything behind the microphone if you were filming and talking into it. I will say it improves the audio slightly. Frankly, GoPro's audio notoriously has been horrible since they started. However, on every iteration of camera, the audio has gotten slightly better and slightly better. So if you have the GoPro 10 or even the GoPro 9, you'll find that the audio is very, very um, passable, especially if you are only going to be a few feet away from the camera. I will say that the media mod here, the improvement to the audio is slight and frankly not worth the extra price point. But the claim to fame, as I mentioned, is adding that external microphone on the top and then plugging it in the back of the uh, media mod. Before I talk about alternatives to the GoPro Media Mod and quickly mention issues when using the GoPro Media Mod, let's just get some caffeine in first. I am fixing for some caffeine and we have Raise Energy Limited Edition 7 out of 7 Blue Shock. Now, Raise Energy is one of the key players in the energy drink game. They sell a ton of their stuff online on their website. It can be found out in the wild. Typically, the price point if you buy a case is around $2. If you find it out in the store, $3. What's in here? Energy. No, it is 300 milligrams of caffeine. They use two forms of caffeine, which is nice. Caffeine citrate, which is the fast-acting form of caffeine. It hits in like 10 minutes, and then caffeine anhydrous, which is what is typically found in energy drinks. What else is in here? They do put in a whole host of ingredients, alpha GPC, branch chain amino acids, as well as um, taurine for uh, hydration, betaine anhydrous for blood flow and some performance, but they don't list the amounts, so you always have to assume a lot less than more. Clearly, if they had a lot of those ingredients in here, they'd probably list the amounts with a full transparent label. But you buy energy drinks not for the ingredients, you buy it for the caffeine and, of course, the flavor. Blue Shock, a really nice flavor. It's like blueberry on the front end, and a raspberry kicker towards the middle of that flavor profile. You taste the blueberry initially, and then you get smacked in the lips with a twisty raspberry. Definitely a little razzle-taz in this blue shock. I was expecting like a, like a blueberry lemonade almost, but no, nope. it's blueberry and raspberry, and it is delicious. Score-wise, I'm going to give this one a solid 8-6. 
I score pretty hard when it comes to energy drinks because I review so many. So you're considering the media mod in order to be able to attach an external light. And the reality is if that is the only reason you want this media mod, you can find a better solution. A lot of third party companies sell attachments for the GoPro that allow you to attach a media mod as like a cold shoe attachment. However, the price point is typically a little bit less and it allows you to just simply slap it on over the GoPro without having to take off the sidewall and it tends to be a bit more convenient. Does the GoPro media mod make for an excellent vlogging setup? I happen to think so. I think it's easy, it's quick, it's convenient, and if you're gonna be vlogging almost uni universally outside, you're gonna get some really great footage and you're almost gonna feel like it's on a gimbal because of that stabilization uh, 4.0, especially in the GoPro 10, is super solid. However, there is a downside. Typically with anything that you're gonna to attach to the GoPro, you have gotta be aware of of ghosts in the machine. You gotta be aware of issues that are caused by attaching this media mod. And I do know if you have the quick, the quick record button set up so that you just hit the button and the GoPro automatically starts recording, that will not work with the media mod. For some reason, it just kicks the media mod out of existence. So even if you have it slapped on, it won't recognize it. I highly recommend shutting off that setting and making sure before you record, at least the first few times, that when you plug in your external microphone, that the media mod is showing up. One of the nice things about attaching the media mod with regards to audio is that it will show you the audio function in terms of your actual you know, volume. So you can see that you are registering volume while you record. And that's something you just wanna check to make sure that you're not gonna get a whole bunch of footage and no audio. I wanna know from you, comment down below. What's your current camera setup? Are you outside on the go vlogging all the time? Or do you just have a tripod set up with a mirrorless camera and you rock and roll with it? Or do you just use your phone, which is the easiest camera you have available to you? And usually it's damn good. I'm always curious what people are using to create their content. Drop it down below and we can have a bit more of a conversation. For me, in case you are curious, I tend to rock and roll with my iPhone just because it gives me a whole bunch of great footage and it's super easy to carry around. However, when I vlog, when I'm out and about and I'm looking to capture some really cool outside footage, I go with this GoPro Hero 10 vlogging setup. It just can't be beat and the price points have come down substantially. Hey, if you found today's video informative, give it a like, hit that red subscribe button. Let me know which energy drinks I should be trying in future videos. As usual, thanks for watching and don't save anything for the trip back.